There is no better time than here and now. So what is happening with USDC? Right now, it's all across media, social, mass media, mainstream media, etc. And what is basically happening is this thing called Tornado Cash, which sits in the middle, where 81 wallets have been blacklisted from the USDC smart contract managed by Cir Circle or the center, which is licensing to Circle. They basically have blacklisted 81 wallets in the smart contract itself which means no, none of those wallets can actually do anything with USDC full stop, no matter if they have it anywhere else. That is embedded in the smart contract and locked in. Basically what they're doing is some 80 plus wallets have got an aggregate of about $75,000 in there. And what they've done is they blacklisted those wallets. E.g. they've written into the smart contract that these wallets cannot interact with USDC. You're going to see more and more of that come and creep into these centralized entities. Why? Because the governments are feeling threatened by these new currencies, number one. And then number two is also it's encroaching on their monopoly. And it's also the relationships with the traditional financial institutions that have built up this whole moat around themselves, thanks to the protection of the regulators associated with compliance. Why can't we spend $80 billion, which the government has just announced they're going to be supporting the IRS with, and 87,000 new headcounts for auditing people to track and set a two, five, 10 people aside, as well as setting up specific bots to track those 81 wallets. Any movement of those wallets follow where those funds go to. Despite mixing, we will be able to get insights into where those wallets go, how much money is going into the, and out of those wallets, and we'll be able to have some sort of trail to multiple different wallets out there. And if not today, then by tomorrow. But that innovation in terms of that trackability and that investment is gonna be far less and the trackability and the innovation garnered out of that is going to only add additional transparency into an already hyper transparent environment on the blockchain with the explorers. So can this happen with Tether? Yeah, it can, but Tether does not have that capability in being able to write that in the smart contract. Can this happen on Bitcoin? No, well, it could in theory happen on Bitcoin, but that miners that will do that will ultimately fork themselves off the ecosystem unless they can garner 51% of the miners to support that kind of activity and blacklisting those specific wallets. So it's a lot harder on other chains and for other, de and particularly, can that happen on decentralized networks? I don't think so. That's the whole point. You have multiple people maintaining and supporting the different networks and doing due diligence on the actual smart contracts themselves. And there's choice. Ultimately, the user should choose where and which coin they want to use. Maybe most of the users want to still use USDC. But I can tell you, once your coins have been cancelled, I think it's going to be harder for you to want to engage with such a currency. Let's make sure that we retain choice.